So today, we're going to be using an all-female deck, uh, part two. I've actually uh, used an all-female deck uh, almost a year ago, but we're going to be using a second female deck to see how far can we go in the challenge. So for this deck, we're going to be using the Huntress, Werewolf, Enchantress, and the Barbarian. Let's see how well we can do with this deck. My name is Toon Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. All right, let's dive right in. And uh, I do not expect, I mean, I get that the Huntress and the Enchantress does not fit together because the, the Huntress can just remove the Enchantress's ability, but she is a pretty good overall hero. You know, like she is, she is, you know, tanky, does a decent amount of damage for what she does and can remove negative enchantments. So um, it is pretty good. It is pretty good. Let's, um... Let's buff up the Barbarian, actually. Let's buff up the Barbarian. And if we can actually enchant the Werewolf, too, that would be even better. Yep, there you go. Okay, so we did not buff up... Actually, we technically did buff up the Barbarian because of the Enchantress's ability. I was, I was planning on hitting the Priest, and I completely whiffed it. He is going to buff up the... Or activate the Werewolf's ability here. I don't know if that is the play. I don't know if that is the play. But we'll see what we can do here. Let's actually hit the Vampire and the Priest here. Hopefully, we can double hit the Vampire as well. We just got to hit it like this. We did not double hit, sadly, but that's fine. We still did a lot of damage to his Priest. He is going to heal up the Vampire, of course. He has to try to keep the Vampire alive if he wants to have a chance of winning this, and that was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Let's take out, Let's try to take out his Priest. Uh, deal damage to the Priest. More damage. Are you serious? I don't think we're going to win this one. I don't think so. Let's see. Okay, the werewolf is still alive, thankfully. But um, his vampire is obviously the most dangerous card. Let's see if we can double hit right there. Hit it towards the huntress. The Okay, we took out his pirate. You know what? We'll definitely take it. We'll definitely take it. We did damage to his uh, his vampire plus took out his pirate. We I wasn't even planning on taking out his pirate. Um, uh, werewolf is still alive, okay. We can push the barbarian, and hopefully the werewolf goes back and hits the priest. Yep, the priest is dead. Lots of damage to his vampire. Let's go. Alright, so sadly, we, we do have troops that are about to die. He has to try to heal up the vampire. So yeah, he's gonna use the priest, or not the priest, the paladin to heal up. And he, of course, keeps getting damage. Let's see if we can take out the... That's not going to be enough to take out the vampire, though. It'll be a double hit. Of course, go back and hit the paladin, please. There you go. So what is he going to do? Focus on the paladin? He is focusing on the paladin. Okay. Nice little triple heal. Bruh. Hit both the paladin and the vampire here. Hopefully the vampire... Oh, wow, no. We only got one hit. I thought we were going to hit, hit it towards the huntress, and we just completely missed it. All right, so the Barbarian does go next. So we can... Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, golly, man. This is tough. No, oh, I might miss. Oh, no, we actually got it. We actually got hits on the Paladin and the Vampire there. All right, so he is going to take on my Barbarian and the uh, Werewolf, I assume? No, the Enchantress. Oh, and the werewolf, okay. Um, This is not good. Deal damage to the vampire, please. Yes, lots of damage. And I th and with the werewolves, or not the werewolves, the huntress defensive buff, we should be able to tank. Well, it doesn't matter. We can tank one hit, but not two. Yep. All right, so how much health does he have? 153. I would need a triple hit to take out the vampire. Oh my gosh, that him healing up the vampire, it was really good play. If we can get a triple hit here, I'm going to be so happy, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it. We got the triple hit, ladies and gentlemen. The Enchantress survived with 16 health. We managed to win this match. Holy guacamole. How do we win that heal against that heal deck? We should have lost that match in my opinion, but holy guacamole. Okay, we are facing this deck. Usually, 
whenever we face this deck, it's usually the Vampire and not the Seder. I would assume that the Vampire is actually a much better card, but to each their own, right? Let's actually double hit the Frost Fox here. Hit the Seder as well. Plus burn everybody. Ooh, double hit. We actually got a double hit on both the Frost Fox and the Seder. Of course, um, burning everybody. Even though that was a 30% damage, damage reduction. We'll definitely take that play. Um, let's actually double hit the Frost Fox because we actually don't want him to continuously heal up. So look at that. The Frost Fox is already about to die. He can definitely heal up by pushing the Shaman towards the Frost Fox. But other than that, he actually failed. He actually failed. Okay. So let's um, give the attack buff to the Huntress. Hit the Frost Fox. And the Frost Fox is still alive. I really wanted to take out the Frost Fox. But now he's going to heal up. Three heals, of course. And of course, a freaking Werewolf died. All right. Okie doke, okie doke. Again, let's try to take out his Frost Fox. Dealing damage to his Seder. I like it, I like it. All right, so he... All right, so the Frost Fox is dead. Now we just gotta worry about his Seder. He is going, definitely going to push the Huntress towards the Seder, right? Yep, there you go. Double hit as well. That's not good. Let's see if we can get a double hit with the Barbarian here. Push it towards the Enchantress, even though that's not gonna be too much damage. Hey, well, it's still damage. That was still about that was about 70 damage. He's going to push it towards the barbarian. The barbarian just died. Alright, we are in a pickle right now because we cannot do too much damage to the Seder. No matter what we do. It's not gonna be too much damage. Wait, how much health does he have? 78. Yeah. Even with a double hit and a burn, I don't think it's gonna be enough. Right? Yep, he survived. All right, so he's definitely gonna go after the Huntress. Um, I don't think we're gonna win this one. Yeesh. Okay, let's burn the Seder. Yeah, a burn is definitely good good enough. Let's double hit the the Shaman here. Ooh, also a nice little hit towards the um the blacksmith just to try to win. The Enchantress has fifty eighth health, so she can survive one hit, but not the Huntress. The Huntress will die in one hit. All right, so this is a doozy. Don't think we're going to win this one, no matter what we do, actually. So, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can survive one hit no matter what, but unless we get one hit and then the burn or anything like that, then we're not going to win. So the Shaman does go next. He is going to try to double hit for the win there, and he does. All right. So sadly, we, we lost that one because the Seder did cause some problems. The Seder really, really caused some problems there. So that was very good on his part right there. Um, one loss, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we can definitely go to six wins. I usually try to go to six wins, but if I get four or five, then I'm still okay with, you know, the results. I'm just hoping for six wins, though. We are facing the enchantment deck. We should be okay. Should be okay. Let's... Um, let's see. Um, let's actually push the enchanters upwards while healing, uh, enchanting the werewolf. Okay, dealing damage to his shaman. Okay, the werewolf actually did damage to the banshee. We'll take that damage. All right, so now my huntress goes next with her attack buff. And okay, this is going to be good. How is that range in range of the Enchantress? I don't agree with that, but this is going to be a lot of damage to the Banshee right there. All right, that was good. That was good. And that also buffed up the um the Barbarian's damage. She is going to activate the Werewolf's ability. Are you sure you want to do that? You are. Okay. And of course, I mean, enchanting the Huntress, but that's un honestly unnecessary right there. Let's, of course, deal damage to the Sorceress right there and his Shaman. We just took out his Banshee and lots of damage to his Zombie. Everybody took damage in that turn and lots of damage as well. That was good. Who is he going to go after? He's going to enchant the Barbarian three times. Golly, okay. Lots of, lots of um, damage, or not damage, um, enchantments. That Snowball saved the Zombie's life. So I'm just going to go after the Sorceress here. Sorceress is dead. Thank you. Sorceress was the one that does the most damage. So Shaman and Zombie. 
I'm not too worried about it. Not worried about it at all. All we just gotta do is... Um, I guess we'll try to push the Huntress towards the Shaman and the Zombie. The Zombie, wow, also took damage from the Enchantress. The, the Zombie has only 7 health. So we're definitely going to win this match unless he figures out a way to hit multiple troops like 10 times or something. You know, like that's um, not possible. Not possible. So we'll just do this. Bada bing, bada boom. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a second win. Not too bad. Um, let, we just gotta try to win, obviously, more. Let's see if we can, though. We just got two wins. I'm, like I said, trying to go for six wins with this all-female deck. Alright, so we saw that the Seder really caused some problems here. And, of course, all he has is enchantment cards plus the Seder. So, we gotta try to go to the Seder first if possible. But look at the play that just happened there. Um, honestly, no. Let's just go for the Seder. We could also enchant the tra or go for the trap, too. This is what I'm thinking. But now he already has the trap on the top left, cor top left corner. Now, we'll just, we'll just play it safe. We'll, we'll just deal damage right there. Also, hitting... Okay, you know what? We'll take it. That was damage to three troops with the Barbarian, so that was really good. He is going for the Enchantress and the Werewolf almost three times. God, Lee. Let's, yep, let's buff up the Barbarian even more by doing it like this. Yep, let's go, let's go. And Werewolf dealing damage to the Blacksmith, thank you. Alright. He is going to hit the Huntress towards the Seder. Werewolf is still alive, okay. The Werewolf is indeed still alive. Let's, um... Let's actually act, uh, enchant the Werewolf, activate the corner. Taking out that Banshee! Let's go. We just took out the Banshee. All right. Plus, we got the corner ready to go to activate the trap. It's just his Seder. Oh, he actually went for the trap. Interesting. That he actually went for the trap. Let's push the Seder towards the Werewolf. Hopefully, the Werewolf also goes up and hits the Sorceress. We missed the Sorceress. The Enchantress was there, though, to actually hit the Sorceress. So, we'll take that damage. He's going to go after the Barbarian. Makes sense. The Barbarian is becoming extremely dangerous. And uh, I guess we can uh, go. Mm. We'll just do this. <sighs> I thought we were going to be able to hit the Seder. That was bad. Oh, that was so bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was my mistake. I thought we were going to be able to hit the Seder, but that was on me. He just took out the Enchantress, which honestly, it's fine. Um, But let's... Let's push the Barbarian towards the Seder because the Seder really needs to die. If we can also hit the corner too, that would be nice. <sighs> we keep we keep missing the Seder. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing well. We're not doing well. We're not doing well. We're not doing well at all. We are not doing well at all. He just... Oh, my gosh. He just got a double hit. Or a double kill. We're going to have to go for the trap. Go for the trap. And hit the Seder. If we can figure out a way to double hit. Nope, that was not a double hit. And uh, we can tank one hit. What? Just one hit, though. Nah, he'll get a double hit easily. Yep. He even got a triple hit. Ugh, come on, man. That was bad. That was so bad. Man, the Seder is... Whenever you see a Seder and chant it with a defensive buff, you better watch out. You gotta take out the Seder as quick as possible, but... I thought I, I thought I had it, but I made two fatal mistakes. That probably did cost me the game there. What can you do, right? Let's see if we can enchant the werewolf and make the werewolf go up. Okay, dealing damage to his vampire. Okay, for 100 damage. We'll take it. However, he is just going to heal up the vampire, though. His vampire... He... The vampire really needs to die. That's for sure. And he enchanted my freaking vampire, or the, the werewolf, sorry. So let's actually try to push the vampire towards the werewolf there. Nicely done. And can the huntress hit the vampire? Wow, he did at the last second right there. Alright, so now, okay, so the vampire is about to die, which is good. He is going to quadruple heal. Seriously. Let's see if we can finally take out that freaking vampire, because that vampire is giving me a lot of problems. 
So let's do that. Yep, there you go. Dealing damage to the zombie and the shaman. Vampire is dead. So all we gotta worry about is his enchantment cards. Take out the sorceress first because the sorceress does deal the most damage. Everybody else is fine. We should be good. I think the... Okay. Okay, I thought... No. I, I thought the, um, the barbarian died. But we might be able to make the barbarian go for... Deal some damage here. Or should we just hit the sorceress instead towards the barbarian? Oh, yeah. The sorceress is dead. We just gotta worry about the shaman and the zombie. We should be fine in winning again and winning this. So he is going after the enchantress. Okay, the barbarian died. That's fine. Um, go after the zombie since the shaman is about to take damage from the goop. So let's actually try to take out this zombie right now by doing it like this. Push it towards the werewolf. Actually, the zombie is still alive. Okay. If it wasn't for the Shaman's enchantment, the zombie would have died. The zombie has 22 health. Yep. He would have died. He had poisoned the... He poisoned the werewolf, but that's fine. Now let's worry about his... I mean, the, the Shaman is already taking damage, so let's not worry about him unless we can deal damage by hitting the zombie. And we were. We actually double hit the Shaman with the um, Enchantress, so that was really good. So three against one. This should be a win for us. Because the Huntress, even though she is getting enchanted, she'll just remove the Shaman's enchantment by doing it like this. And this should be a good game right there. That's our third win, correct? Not the greatest because we we all already have two losses with only three wins. So let's see if we can push to six wins. Like I always say, I always try to push to six wins. You know, four wins is okay for what you're getting, but of course, six wins is obviously better. It gives you a decent amount of rewards. We're facing an all enchantment deck as well. All right. So let's see if we can get some good, or not good cards. Um, A good win here, of course. Let's enchant the barbarian. Push the zombie towards the huntress. There you go. Huntress, I mean, the sorceress got a little bit of damage as well. Shaman got burnt by the steam. Pretty good start. Let's see if with the Enchantress, alright, the Enchantress goes next. Let's see if we can enchant some troops or if we need to enchant troops. Uh, we might be able to... No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, let's see if we can... I don't know what I want to do. I guess we just go for the Sorceress just to be safe. We can also hit the Shaman. Okay, we also hit the Enchantress, alright. Alright, so, okay, we did damage to three troops. I wanted to deal damage with the Barbarian, but I don't think I was going to be able to, so I, I played it safe. Better safe than sorry, honest, honestly. Alright, so let's push the Zombie towards the Huntress. Huntress will also hit the Shaman. Hopefully the Barbarian goes up and pushes towards someone. Nope, we missed, but that's fine. Werewolf is still not enchanted. I really, I would really like the, the Werewolf to get enchanted, unless the Enchantress dies right now. She might die. Yep, the Enchantress will die, so that means we did not um, enchant the Werewolf, and the Barbarian cannot get re-enchanted. So let's make sure that the Sorceress dies before he enchants the source, uh, the Werewolf with that enchantment. He can poison the Werewolf, though. He can. But if he does, then that's just going to activate the Werewolf's ability, making her even stronger, you know? Alright, so let's actually just hit the zombie and the enchantress here. This sh should be... Yeah, that was good. Alright, so it's just up to the shaman. The shaman is one hit away from death. One health! Wow! The shaman survived with one measly health. But he would need to just multi-hit a lot of troops here for the win. And he cannot do that. So the werewolf can definitely take out a one health unit. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, we got another win. All right, so this all-female deck is working out pretty well. We already got four wins, so it's okay. Um, two more wins, and I'll be happy. I mean, I'm already happy with the, I'm already happy with the run. I just don't want to end the run quickly. You know, four wins is, it's a very short run. So hopefully we can get to six wins. So it's like, you know what? At least we got there. We got halfway there. But let's see if we can do it. Champion Jossum. Okay, that's fine. Not really, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Let's see if we can uh, enchant the werewolf as well. 
who got the who touched the dragon's hand first it was below so we did not burn any anybody but that's fine we got two troops enchanted actually the only two troops that we need to enchant we got them out the Jossum, will he be able to use his ability no it was too far away okay um let's hit both of these guys we might be able to go back down again and hit the Jossum again so let's see Yes, there you go. Okay, we actually hit three troops. That was a decent amount of damage. Enchantress gets the buff. All right. He is going to hit the Barbarian towards the Jossum. Because the Jossum is already going to hit both the Enchantress and the Werewolf. And that is going to be a lot of damage. But you just activated the Werewolf's ability, though. Um... Don't think we're going to be able to hit the Warlord, but we're definitely going to try. Is that enough to take out the Jossum right there? Yep, the burn was enough to take out the Jossum. So that's one less tutorial about. A strong troop as well. But now we got to worry about his champion, though. Champion is pretty nasty, especially with his attack buff. So... Oh, wow, the Barbarian just died. And is the Enchantress dead? Yep, the Enchantress also died. So that's not good. Let's see if we can... We're not going to be able to hit the champion in any way, shape, or form. I don't think we're going to be able to double hit the warlord, though. Oh, wow, we actually did hit the champion. Okay, so the champion is dead. Thank you. The fire the fire breath was just enough to take out the champion. So now let's take out this warlord because this warlord has the attack buff. And, of course, he can buff himself up. The enchanter said alone cannot do anything. He may take out my... um. My werewolf? No, he decided to go after my huntress. Interesting. Yeah, that was not a good play. That was not a good play. And I thought we were going to be able to hit the enchantress as well. But sadly, we failed. But the lone enchantress cannot do too much. So this is this should be a this should be a win for us. Especially if we hit the werewolf. But he is not going to hit the werewolf. Okay. Okay, thankfully he, that was not a triple hit. But um, let's just, um, just double hit right here. Bada boom. Oh, triple hit. That's even better. Even better. The Enchantress just needs two hits to die. Or if he goes after the Werewolf, now it just needs one hit. And there you go. We actually have a good line of sight. We just gotta push the Enchantress towards the Werewolf. And there you go. We got another win. That's five wins, if I'm re remembering correctly. And that's good. Hey, this is a random deck. All female deck. And... Honestly, it's working out quite well defeating against champion Jossum decks. And you know how strong that deck is. It's really strong. So hopefully we can get one more win against this champion Jossum deck with the Sentinel. And that's actually even more dangerous. Let's see if we can enchant the Werewolf or even the Barbarian. And make the Huntress go up to hit the Sentinel. Actually, we hit the Sentinel and the champion while enchanting the Werewolf. We'll take it. So he is going to hit the Sentinel. The Werewolf will activate her ability. Or, the, yeah, the Werewolf activated her ability. That's good. Let's buff up the Barbarian here. Hit the Sentinel and hopefully the Champion. There you go. Lots of damage. That's good. Champion goes next. He might just hit the Sentinel. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going after the Barbarian. Not going after the Sentinel. Interesting. And the ability is going to go off. Werewolf did take a lot of damage, but we might be able to make some sort of comeback here. Let's see if we can push the Sentinel towards the Barbarian and then also hit his Jossum. Nah, not really, but the Barbarian still did damage to his Jossum and the Champion. I did not expect that. He is going to hit the Barbarian four times. Okay. Oh, wow, that's death for the Barbarian because of the ability. All right, nicely done. Nicely done. Let's... Ooh, we might lose this one, actually. Let's hit the Sentinel and the Jossum here. Champion is still alive. But... And there's a Puppet on the board. Okay. So, Puppet Master, of course, making puppets. He he might just buff up the... Ooh, okay, the Werewolf is still alive, thankfully. The Werewolf is still alive. Let's actually... We're actually blocked. Not good. We're actually blocked. We might be able to hit the Jossum and the Champion here. Yep, there you go. Nice little damage. 
especially towards the Jossum. We need the Jossum to die as soon as possible, but leaving these puppets alive, that's probably dangerous. He is going to double hit the Huntress, okay. Oh yeah, we just lost both of those troops right there. Um, and the Werewolf only has 81 health, alright. So this, this is a loss, I think. This is going to be a loss, unless we can figure out a way to make up, nope. All he has to do is just push the, pu the puppet towards the werewolf and we're going to lose. Yep, there you go. All right, man. Five wins. It is kind of a short run, but regardless, it is still an okay run. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Did we get something good? Not really, but that's fine. Um... But yeah, guys, that was an all-female deck. It is pretty good. Um, probably could have made some couple of changes there, like maybe adding the Warrior instead of the Huntress or, you know, things like that. But regardless, it was still a good run overall. If you guys have any recommendations that you want to see, I do have a couple of that I got to work out. But if you guys have any more, just throw them down in the comments below and I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.